Wake, Wake Forest, Forest has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. And down he goes, right around the 40. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. That brings up second and nine. Now he's scrambling. Here's an opening. They'll bring him down at about the 41. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And they make the stop right around the 26 yard line. Take it down at the 33 yard line. From the 33 yard line, second down. 41's coming, 41's the mic. Set, 10 19. Check, check. Lion, lion. Brought down right around the 38 yard line. Lots of five there. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They've read it from the get go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 28. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. UCLA is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and he nails the long field goal. like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wake Forest's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Tackle made around the 27-yard line. Defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. It's third down, 12 to go. Ball in the 23. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Oh, man, he took him down hard. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. UCLA is up by three. And he just gets.
gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he just gets rid of it. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Oh, excellent punt. He takes it in at the 14. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's tackled at the 25. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. From their own 21-yard line, third down. He's on the run. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. He shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. Green nine. Hey, green nine. Motion, motion. Yellow Shut three. Motion, motion. Check, check. Gets it out to him again. He's at the 30. That's a great tackle. At the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. Off play action. Now he's on the move. On the pass. Touchdown. Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He makes the PAT. A five-play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Demon Deacons on this really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes, that makes it second, second and six. six. And he tackles him hard for the 38-yard line. for a loss. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. And he hits him hard at the 48. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Deep ball, laying it out there. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. 
This guy's got to just feel awful, dropping an easy interception in the end zone. The best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and get ready to play that next play. In on the throw, he caught it. Knocked out of bounds around the 16-yard line. He makes it to the nine. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it third and three. So at the end of one, Wake Forest leads 7-3. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. They come out on an empty backfield. Out of bounds, right around the six-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Makes it out to about the five-yard line. He's on the run. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Bruins! <laughs> Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 13 play, 76 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. They give to the tailback. And he's level at the 27-yard line. Game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Watch the curls. Watch the curls. He's out of bounds at the 32-yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. The 39-yard line. Number 35 makes the tackle at the 39-yard line. First down. Mike 35. He fights forward to about the 40. He's at midfield. Fumble picked up by the defense. And they make the stop at the 47. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two. Might be LA has a three-point lead. Handoff to the right. He makes it. He's got it with room to run, and he is drilled at the 43.
gets out to about the 31. The halfback picks up a yard. That brings us second and nine. He goes out of bounds at the 30 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's taken down at the 25 yard line. UCLA holds a field goal lead. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits it. Looked like kick for this kid. Fucked up three points for the offense. So the score now. UCLA 13. Wait for it. Seven. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wake Forest gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen with his teammates, the rest of this group. They've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. His way to the 40-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here, not pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Had a great play by the linebacker, but let me tell you, as a quarterback, you almost rather throw against man-to-man -man coverage evaluate zone defense and he got this zone defense I think the linebacker snuck up and I don't even know if he saw him before he threw the football pulls down the catch and he's got room here touchdown Deacons Wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. But I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Try to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's to the 40. Brought down around the 46 yard line. Slings it to the 20. Tackle made at the 13 yard line. That was a nice play. You know, we talk about this every week, adjusting to the blitz. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play. Good-looking pass. Tackled after a decent pickup. UCLA is going to have to use their second time out of the hat. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Territory, but they look totally in control there. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. 
sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. it fly this one's intercepted it's the junior safety the ball hung up in the air just long enough for the defender to get to it first down 10 to go ball on the 16 UCLA with a six-point lead Little toss across the middle, and he's hit immediately. young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He's going to go for the home run. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Touchdown UCLA! And he adds the extra point. Well, we played a half of football. The Bruins with a 13-point lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. When you don't give up any sacks and neither team did in the first half, the offensive line gets a lot of credit and deservedly so. Quarterbacks also deserve some credit for that. They get rid of the football on time, yep. throw it away when they need to. But a lot of times they're doing it because they don't really feel any heat from the defense. Yeah, and, and defensively, you got to be able to see that. And if it's a three-step drop, then all you can do is get your hands up. Try to deflect footballs. And if you're in the, in the if you're in the middle and you're a defensive tackle, try to push that guard as much as you can. So when that quarterback steps up, he has to step into somebody. Or how about you make a move and get outside of the pocket? You know, especially the blind side. The blind side of the quarterback. We always talk about that guy. You know, in the NFL, making all the money. A lot of times, you can take more risk. You can come inside on a pass rush or come outside because the quarterback can't see you. So some way, shape, or form, they got to start making sure that they make him uncomfortable and get some pressure on him. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here we go. He scrambled. Defense 
looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And he's taken down around the 25-yard line. That brings up third and 10. Check. They'll give it off here. Nice run, and he's brought down. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a deep Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and two. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. a great tackle at the 41-yard line. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Now he tries to buy some time. There he goes. Good open field tackle. Just gets rid of it. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Yeah. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Stopped immediately. And a pickup of about seven. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. He's at the 40. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. First and 10, ball on the 39. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 28. out to his wide out. Tackle at the 23-yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. Heavy on the edges, heavy on the edges. That brings him second and five. They'll knock him down for a loss. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. 
Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Larry, Larry. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires it out. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. They bring him down in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard. That brings up second and goal. They're at the two. Second down. Hey, look, 48. Hey, we don't like the 48 right now. Let's go. Down. Check, check. Lion, lion. Puts on a move. Touchdown. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going down in the end zone for a touchback. Wake Forest's getting stomped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points in. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 39. First down. Get to that quickly. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. They'll get him for a loss. Second and 13. Ball on the 42. Check two, check two. Get that quarterback. Get off. Great two. Go. He's wrapped up for the sack. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. And he just drilled it from long range. Wake Forest lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. So with one quarter remaining, UCLA leads it 34-17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. 41's coming, 41's the mic. Set, Laid hand off, and he's not going to get back to the line. He's 
taken down at the 35 yard line. Called a gain of 10 yards. That makes it fourth and inches. And they're coming after this punter. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Makes it to the 22 yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Ready? Move and a quick throw. Brought down at midfield. It's going to be tough for this team, obviously, to get back into this football game. But I just love to see that the pride they're playing with. They are determined to play into the final whistle, and they're not giving up. You hear that, kids? They're not giving up, and that's a key. And he throws right away. And he hauls that one in. To the 20. Tackle made around the 11 yard line. First down. Hand off to the right. And they hit him in the backfield. From the 12 yard line, it's second down. It's on the ground, and the defense is on it. The defense wasn't fooled at all on the option, and it was their discipline that created that turnover. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That brings him second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on their own 13. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 30. Less than three minutes in the game. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 50. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 50 yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. for a loss. Loss of four yards. That, that makes it second and 14. Roger, Roger. Hey, alert 48. Hey, go Mike 48. Blue 14. Blue 14. Makes it out to about the 39. the 39-yard line. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And the option to the halfback gets six yards. Drill at 
the 33. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 34-17, UCLA. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.